Senator Udall. Thank you, uh, Chairman Manchin, and, and also uh, Ranking Member Barrasso for giving me the opportunity to speak today, and it's great to be here with so many colleagues and with my cousin and with my, uh, <laughs> uh, my new uh, uh, hardworking Senator, Senator Martin Heinrich. And I'm, I'm proud to sponsor this piece of legislation with my colleague from New Mexico, a hardworking uh, member of this subcommittee. Uh, Senator Heinrich gave an excellent opening statement that allowed me to shorten my statement a little bit because I agree with everything he said, and so he's educated you and I'm sure won you over. Uh, the Columbine Hondo Wilderness Act was first introduced in the 112th Congress by then Chairman Bingaman and myself. Since that time, support for the proposal has only continued to grow. Designated as a wilderness study area in 1980, the Columbine Hondo region of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains of northern New Mexico contains conifer forests, alpine grassland, and some of the highest peaks in the state. This uh, is habitat uh, uh, and home to mule deer, elk, black bear, mountain lions, uh, bighorn sheep, pika, marmots, and other wildlife. Uh, local support for the bill is very strong. In fact, we've heard no opposition to this bill. Uh, local communities support this legislation because protection of the Columbine Hondo will ensure quality habitat for hunters and anglers. Uh, and I'll bet as soon as we get it done, Senator Heinrich will be up there hunting. He's an avid hunter. Uh, it's going to preserve traditional land uses, and, and as was said earlier, the traditional land use goes back hundreds of, hundreds of years and attract additional tourism to the area. Community members also recognize the great value in protecting their watershed. The Columbine Hondo contains the headwaters of the Rio Hondo and Red River, both major tributaries of the upper Rio Grande. The pristine streams of the Columbine Hondo provide quality surface water uh, for the downstream agricultural communities of Valdez, Arroyo Hondo, Arroyo Seco, San Cristobal, and Cuesta. These waters also support much of the rest of the state as tributaries to the Rio Grande. S-776 would designate approximately 45,000 acres of Forest Service land as wilderness. Additionally, the bill would amend the boundary of the neighboring Wheeler Peak Wilderness to encompass additional sensitive lands, including an alpine lake, while establishing a more easily identifiable boundary adjacent to existing roads and trails. These modifications increase the overall size of the Wheeler Peak Wilderness by approximately 650 acres for a total of approximately 19,550 acres. The bill further directs the conveyance of specific National Forest System land to the town of Red River and the village of the Tau Ski Valley. This land contains a municipal wastewater treatment plant, several plants, a cemetery, a local park, and a segment of a town road. Conveyance of these parcels will allow for a streamlined management of these facilities by local governments and will reduce the Forest Service's responsibility to manage non-forestry related lands. And I'd thank, like to thank, as Senator Heinrich did, the coalition of groups and communities that have worked over the past several years on the protection of the Columbine Hondo. This has really been a grassroots effort uh, and it's remarkable to see and I thank them for their time and efforts on S-776. It's a strong piece of legislation uh, with, with full local support. One of the individuals who has put in a lot of uh, time on this uh, piece of legislation is Max Trujillo. He's here with us today uh, and he's uh, representing the New Mexico uh, Wildlife Fed Federation. Again, uh, uh, Chairman, uh, thank you very much and members of the subcommittee for considering this important piece of legislation and I encourage full support for the bill. Thank you. Yield back. Thank you, Senator.